Welcome to the stream. I had to double check my audio settings, because Windows did an update. And, uh, it's... Do you know... I'm not going to get into it too much, but... Windows just constantly has a habit of, I don't know, maybe once a year, it just does this update, and I'm not really sure what it does, but your computer starts up, and then it's like, hey buddy, we noticed, uh... You're not using uh, our web browser. Would you like to change to our web browser? No. Oh, okay. Did you know you can get 50% off Microsoft Office if you sign up now? No. Oh, okay. Um, we can give you 100 gigabytes of storage on OneDrive. Would you like to start your trial? And then it's only $3 a month afterwards? No. Oh, okay. Well, that... Computer's yours now, I guess. Until until we remind you about all these services we have next time. You know? Because once a year, we have to remind you that you're missing out on all these Microsoft services that you should have. Never mind that you actually paid for your operating system and we're just, you know, spamming you. <laughs> anyway. It's become just super intrusive. Um, yeah, the clock's going forward for me, because we're entering the, uh, summer time zone, so... Good news for Americans, it's a better time zone in terms of streaming, because it means that, um, it gets later in my time zone sooner. So that means... I think it's better? I don't know. It's hard to keep track. Alright, um, I'm finishing this character today. Wait, the Golden Gates video of McDonald's? I don't- I don't think I'm aware of that one, just because... Um, we had our own videos, you know? Australian McDonald's is its own thing, and I've shown it before. Not Golden Gates, Golden Arches. Nevertheless, um... I would be unaware of those kind of videos, as our videos were completely different. Like, uh, I think I showed one of the ads once. It's a bunch of kids dancing with Ronald and then... Um, this one kid just going absolutely mental with the hips. Like, dude looked like he was at the club, you know? Kid probably would have been like five or six years old, but just... Knew what to do. Oh, it's just an animation. Then I've probably seen it, but I'm just terrible with names. If it's that voice, then I can imagine. I think I know which one you're talking about. I mean, I don't know what this is, so... I would need a bomb to get it. Yeah, I mean... Pretty much at 2am, it's going to become 3am here, so that's the thing. How am I? Okay, um... Spent most of the day kind of messing around in video editing, seeing if I could get a format down for YouTube Shorts. Been experimenting a bit. So... Yeah, just thinking about the kind of stuff I want to do. That sounds like a great time. Uh, I mean, it was fun just messing around and seeing. Because I, I was. The main thing was. Doing. Finding a way to have a format and then also make it sort of easy to do. That was the key challenge, I guess. But I mean, I, I did a couple. Um, don't know if they're the final versions, but just made them. 
They could change, I don't know. But the idea is I want to have like a bunch of them ready and before uh, I try to do the streaming thing. And then in the lead up to them sort of publish a few and then have them going out at a sort of steady rate. Like maybe two or three a week, I don't know, something like that should be fine. The only problem is not everything's been clipped, so it's kind of like some of it I'm working off memory. I tried to find out of context ones where possible, but that all it's almost worthy of its own channel, but I don't want to spread myself too thin, so. Was yesterday foggy as hell for me? Ah, uh, don't think so. I mean, entirely different country, it's unlikely. Unless it's a, it's a bit. Is this a bit? I gotta remember to set up for the Pokemon AI stuff as well tomorrow. It's gonna be a fun time, and I need to remember to kind of make the VOD friendly to edit, so that's gonna be fun. I have to remember to constant- I've, I've rigged a button on my stream deck to add a, a marker, so then like if anything amusing happens, I just press it. So, we'll see. You just wanted to see, your mother was saying it was foggy as fuck back home. Right, but... I mean, again, different country. Like, how, how big do you think uh, cloud formations get? You just want to make sure the world wasn't shrouded in a thick fog. Right. Yeah, I mean, I guess scale is, is hard. If Yellowstone, that will be half of the world engulfed by ash. Yeah, but that's... That's not the same thing as, like, a cloudy day, is it? That's catastrophe. Like, of course, when big volcanoes are up, like, we do see the, uh, the effects of it, right? And how far it travels. Completely different scenario. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, that's, that's some, uh, Doomer stuff if you start looking into that sort of thing. Like, the big volcanoes and what would happen if they erupted. Just do yourself a favor, don't, don't read into it. It's not a rabbit hole you want to go down. I don't know. I know people that just do that. It's dooming, pretty much. They just actively look out things to stress up, out about. I mean, we all do it to some extent, right? But, like, some people, it's a daily basis. I don't know, my response is always like, yeah, and if the sun farted, we'd all be dead in minutes, but like, 
I don't think about that stuff. Okay, well, I'm gonna win. As I have something that attacks enemies. So I can just stand still and my spooky little friend will do the rest. If the sun farted, yeah, we'd all be doomed. What, like, how else do you want me to put it? I'm using the layman's term of farting as opposed to the scientific term, which is a solar flare. But you know, the, the solar flare is just the sun farting. I mean, maybe it's a solar flare. Maybe it's something else. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I just know that it's basically a sun fart. Solar flares haven't killed us yet. I like the hedging language in that sentence. Like, you don't say killed us, you say killed us yet. Okay, we're okay. Go, little ghost friend. Get victory for me. It doesn't have a big radius, but I think it should be enough to get some kills. I just don't have the health right now, and I don't really want to risk it too much, you know? Until... Have some health. Oh, this is obnoxious. Okay, go, little ghost friend. You've got this. How's that vortex working out for you now? Oh, we good. <laughs> One way or another, I'm gonna have this win. Not worth it. Please let there be health in here. There isn't... there's no health. Mm, okay, I tried. Okay. Alright. Wait, you're watching a video where it said pound for pound we radiate more s heat than the sun? It's just the sun is bigger than us. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the kind of stuff that I, I don't look into too much. Because it usually leads to dooming. <laughs> it really does. When you look at just w the sheer scale that the sun is and what it does. Um, yeah. You don't want to enter an existential crisis. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's fascinating as fuck, right? Like... But... The mind can drift.
Am I really gonna? I don't think I'm gonna farm rewards. Oh, with the compounds of the sun compared to us. Right, I getcha. Okay, that was my window to sit still. I had, like, I had to try and paraphrase that sentence whilst playing this game. It's, it's not always easy to read a paragraph of text, particularly when you're playing something like this. So I, I do my best, and if it's not correct, well... Well, to be fair, now I could probably read it, but... See, with this, I would be guaranteed success. That's why I'm adamant. As all I need to do is just make sure the portal opens, and then we're good. I will stop doing this once I can, uh... Not worry about health. Right now, you know, one hit and I'm dead, so... This will be the reality for a little bit. But once I get my health back, I'll play it normally. Just, I would hate to give this up. Okay, I mean, and I got it right away on the character that this is, item is pointless on. Okay, um, bear with me. I get both key pieces, which is nice. I know, this sucks, but... <laughs> Uh There's no way I take this thing on without dying on the damage I have and the movement speed I have. I'm not that good. Oh dude, this little ghost doesn't really do that much damage, does it? You don't expect me to get everything 100%. I'm doing something. Yeah, good. Like, Twitch chat isn't exactly the best format to be discussing physics and that sort of stuff. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes we try. I'm pretty excited to do this uh, AI thing. I've written down a bunch of prompts that I want to try. And see what it generates, so... Should be fun. You can do it for free up to a certain point, but then... After that, you have to start paying for it, so... I mean, I'll just pay for it. It's not that much anyway. I think it's to generate like 300 images, it's only a couple of dollars, so. That's enough to do a Pokedex with some room for error. Finally! Okay. Experimental pill. <laughs> Guess what? We have to do it again. <laughs> this one shouldn't take as long to die, though. 
I could probably fight this one without dying, it's just... Let's just secure this. Uh, I hate to be pacifist, but sometimes it's necessary. One thing that I wish I kind of kept better track of in terms of streams is whenever we talk about random stuff, I feel like I've done a terrible job at keeping those discussions. I mean, I have the VODs, right? That's not the, the issue. The issue is, like, tracking them down. It's, it's very difficult. <laughs> I need to start keeping better record of that shit, especially if I'm gonna do shorts. Okay, there we go. Ah, but see, now this is the advantage, is I can see everything. Big brain. Oh my god! What the heck is this? I've never seen that before. Okay. That would have been funny if that explosion would have just gone through me anyway. Wait, I kind of risked it a bit by doing that. Okay. That's a health up. Alright, now I'm not in the danger zone. That's the important part. Um, I'm gonna buy another bomb. Damn, if I would've known, I would've gotten the feather. But, yeah. Oh well. So this is nice, I get to see everything. Oh no, Metroid Rockets. Yeah, Metroid Rockets, uh... I like them, but they have problems. I didn't pick up those, those hearts because I have an idea. They're gonna come to me, so don't worry. I'm going to purposely take damage, and then I can, uh, go into the challenge room. There's an item in there that's probably worth it either way. I need fire or something. Okay. Where's my or something? Just set this one out. This has never ended well for me. Just let the ghost do its thing. It'll get them all eventually. Okay. 
Right, so this is where I'm gonna purposely take damage. And now I should have access to that room. And then hope that, uh, whatever's in here is worthwhile. That is worthwhile. Alright. And now we sit still! There we go. He's just gonna keep charging into me. The best item I can possibly have is the meat cube. Uh. I mean, what else have I got to talk about? Uh, Google Stadia shut down. Jeez. I bet the six people that use it are pretty upset right now. Although, to be fair, um, Google is refunding the games and everything, which is surprising. But... Yeah, I mean... Based on what they were offering, it's not that- there's two problems. The technology's just not quite there, and even then, let's say it was, the whole thing where you have to buy games at probably more that you than you would pay for a physical in some areas was a bit weird, like... I need to get closer. Okay. Oh, you ass. Okay, but now that should be enough. This is an annoying boss because it keeps doing this. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Stay on him. I find that sometimes these little friendly dudes are not as aggressive as they should be. Okay, I'm gonna get health after this, and then I don't have to sit like that. That was a little dangerous of me. I accidentally flicked the left or the right analog stick and it shot. <laughs> oh dear. Three hours later. This instance, probably this is a good idea. Okay, uh... So is that the point at which the screen begins to scroll? That's where you should bomb. It's not always easy to tell.
Mm, then again, no, because I'm... I guess worst comes to us if... If I'm struggling, I can just be passive, right? As much as that would suck. Okay, they're not... Um, I've started to, uh... Like, make sure the chests aren't fake chests. It's something I've been pretty terrible at. I just run blindly into those chests and then sometimes it's just... They take my health. Eh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure about these eyeball shots. I used to like them, but... I feel like over time... I don't know. I don't... I don't seem to enjoy them as much. Um, I don't need to stick to angel rooms now, since I have the key, so... This is good. I mean, kind of... The thing is, I haven't really got a way to generate health, so... Nah. I'm gonna say no. Damn, this is a big floor. Oh, I didn't see the spider. Okay. Hey. I'll go back. Health is health. It sucks that I have to practically do the whole map. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could skip, but, uh I don't have a key. Alright, you know what? Let's just assume we're gonna skip. And if I get a key, I will reverse. I have to come through here anyway. I need to fix this movement speed. This is horrible. Speed, please. Okay, well, there is a key. It's just unfortunately kind of uh, not accessible.
uh, I'll blow him up. Why not? Pretty lucky. Okay, so I didn't get a key. I th I say let's do the skip. The magician. Ah, well, fingers crossed this works. No planetarium on this floor, but future floor, maybe. Oh, you dick. No. Yeah, that, that's great. <laughs> sure is nice of the game to do that. Having too much knowledge of the map is a bad thing. I guess after this floor, money doesn't matter as much. How I have gone this long without finding another key, I don't know. Uh-oh. Yeah, no, I have to- I have to fight these things annoyingly enough. The telefragging is just it's not fun. Nope, standing still. Absolutely standing still here. Now I need to move. Oh, what happened there? I think the hearts just automatically moved to uh, somewhere where they died. Okay.
Their AI is weird. They kind of just float around the room and then sometimes they'll just back into the spikes. Nearly. Okay, but that's not where we want to go just yet. I don't care how long this takes. I don't know how much health I have. I assume I'm on one soul heart. Oh, I don't have a key. How have I, how have I not gotten a key? How is that possible? Uh, let's start copium measures. Emperor, Wheel of Fortune, okay. I mean, either way, this could be good. No, Twitchy will not try the elevator chat. Yeah, please don't. It's, uh, yeah. I've shared my thoughts on it already. But yeah, hello, Seth. How's it going? Oh. Yeah, so I'm definitely on one... One heart. This is gonna be boring. <laughs> no doubt about it. <laughs> but I am not gonna get, uh... Yeah, that. <laughs> I think the reason that they're trying this whole thing is just to try and earn some goodwill back. Where it's like, oh, you guys want a 70-30 split? Okay, here, here's something with a 70-30 split. Where viewers will pay you a hundred dollars for two and a half minutes. Dude, when you put that- that table of pricing... If I have that email open, and then... Side by side, I have, like, the hot tub category. It's- it's kind of- it's kind of insane. <laughs> Just... Just, uh, I, I guess, yeah. You start to question what website you're on. The sad fact in some chats, they will. I mean, to be fair, YouTube has something like that. But I'm fairly certain it's nowhere near like this. Like, this is just... It's definitely affirming to me that trying out YouTube is the right choice. Not, I, I know YouTube has its own set of problems. With, uh, like, age restriction and all that shit. And that's fine. Can deal with that, but... I don't know, dude. Just lately, some of the stuff that they've been doing, they being Twitch, has made me a little more jaded towards <laughs> the platform. Um... But anyway, good to hear that you're good, Seth. How have things been? Since I'm basically standing still, so I can- I can chat. <laughs> I hate that I have to resort to this, but... I have the key, and this is the best chance I have of completing the mark. Oh, hold on. I gotta... 
do this again. There we go. Just been doing college stuff and chilling in between. Cool, cool. I've been... What have I been doing? I mean, I, I've just been... Doing some uh, prep work for YouTube, so I've just been messing around with video editing and doing some shorts with some of the clips. Um, waiting for Diablo Ladder to start, because I'm going to give that a go. I did pretty well with Hardcore, so I might try to jump into the ladder with a Hardcore character. I kind of surprised myself at how well I did, so... I think Hardcore is something where there, there would be a little more fair competition. So I might give that a go. Not on stream necessarily, but... Yeah, that's next week sometime. There's a lot of stuff that's coming out, like Terraria's just dropped their patch. Overwatch 2 launches this week coming up. The Diablo 2 ladder starts up. Um, I, feel, I know there's one other thing I'm missing, but... Yeah. You're still playing Hardcore Grim Dawn League, and a bit of other things in between. How's the uh, Hardcore League going? Oh yeah, and tomorrow I'm doing um and a stream where I'm generating Pokemon using this new AI. Where you type in a text prompt and uh, it'll try to generate a Pokemon with it. The best way to use it is, I guess you put like a well-known person or maybe an object or a thing. And it'll uh, try to generate a Pokemon around it, so it's pretty cool. Gonna try and make a Pokedex with it. Should be interesting. <laughs> I'm sorry if this is bad and just boring, but... I've been trying for the last three days to get this mark, and it's not because of lack of a good build. It's because the game has refused to give me a scenario where the portal opens. And... I'm like, right now, I have pretty good odds as I have the key, so that's an extra chance. Still alive at one point, you made it into the top 30. Be down to 70-ish as been playing some Zelda and FF14. Yeah, that's generally how it is with that stuff. Unless, unless you play like the streamers and you're doing it every day. Unfortunately, you do fall off. But, I mean, it's still fun. I, I am trying desperately to get a key, but it's not happening. And it might not happen. Ooh, stand still! <sighs> Dude, I'm, I'm on half a heart now. This is so annoying. Yeah, don't give don't give me a key at all. No key. Don't don't give me a key. Yeah, this is going to suck. I am I'm sorry. I should just call it quits and just do a build where I actually do damage. And to be fair, this one's not bad, it's just... I've had this happen to me before, where the game just refuses to give me any keys, ever.
Oh, yeah, the other thing I read is like, uh, Diablo 4 is, is starting their, uh, private beta thingy. That'd be pretty neat if I got to play in that, but I finally got a key. <laughs> I mean, the odds of that happening are, are fairly slim. What is this? Little spew- Oh, yeah. This one's an interesting one. Its effect changes. They are one, oh, one of the folks in your FF14 guild got an invite. Are they allowed to talk about it? I mean, the fact that they got an invite. I thought NDA meant you can't talk about anything. <laughs> Just... They sign the NDA after they get the invite. Okay. That's too scary. I guess that makes sense. How are you going to agree to something before the fact? Okay, I got Chariot. They can talk about the invite themselves, but not anything after that. Gotcha. Um... Ooh, that was spicy. I'm kind of wonder like what percentage of people are gonna get it. Okay, I'm in a much better spot now. I don't have to worry. I mean, I'm still gonna do the cheese, but... Oh. Uh, nah, I'm fine. That's probably not gonna be something good anyway. Okay. Prepare to be bored! I mean, based on that footage that they sh- No, they didn't show, but like, the footage that came out, it's looking pretty decent. It's just it's ultimately going to be a question of, are they going to stick the landing? Which, I guess people are right to be pessimistic about it, given what happened with Immortal. They're trying to decide between Elden Ring or Breath of the Wild Master Mode. I mean, depends what you want. If you want the challenge, probably Elden Ring is harder. Though, if you do play Master Mode in the way that I did, where you just don't wear armor and, uh... You don't upgrade anything, then... It is a bit of a challenge. It plays more like a Souls game. pretty fun to do. There are some parts that are extremely annoying, though. Like, particularly when enemy health regens, you just have to keep poking it. Because I don't know how much health I have, this is why I'm doing this. Otherwise, I'd, I would not be this passive. 
I just seem to have the worst luck when it comes to pills and curses. I don't know. A lot of people avoid pills. This was self-inflicted. But I already had the curse that hides the map, so... A bow with a normal arrow to delay it. Yeah, exactly. That's what you have to constantly do. Like, if you if you hit it, just shoot it at once every 15 to 20 seconds. But sometimes that isn't always possible. I mean, Elden Ring depends on what extent you want to do it, but it can be anywhere between 40 to 100 hours. Depends on the pace you play it and if you want to go everywhere and do everything. Uh, master mode, I mean, I can't, I don't know how long it is, but if you're upgrading stuff, it definitely won't take you as long as it took me. Ah, <laughs> Just... It's this annoying one that just refuses to stomp me. You tend to upgrade but also remove all HUD and refuse to fast travel. Oh, that's the way that I did it. I played with mini HUD, the super minimal version, and I walked everywhere because at the end I wanted to see everything that I did to get all, all of the Koroks and everything. It was pretty cool to see that path play back. I mean, I suppose with the game coming out next year, it's probably a good idea to play it. Which reminds me, I need to get back to playing the other ones, because I did want to play through all the Zelda games before the new one came out, so... But... I mean, I kind of want to play the Game Boy Advance and Game Boy ones on good hardware. The GameCube thing, whilst good, it works. The problem is the GameCube controller, that D-pad, just does not suit Game Boy play. I mean, I could resort to the E word, but like, the idea was to play it all legit. With the stuff that I have. Okay, so now she's stomping. I'm sorry, this, this run has been stupid. But, I got to talk. Zelda now and Elden Ring for later as... What? DLC? Coming for that sometime? They're doing DLC? Huh. I mean, I, I definitely want to do a magic playthrough of that game because it's different. It's different enough of a gameplay that it warrants doing it. But, I mean, that's not going to be for a while. Uh, Elden Ring was great. Um, it was visually nice to look at. Though, man, sometimes in that game <laughs> it was exhausting. Particularly Melania. Oh my god. <sighs> but I guess now that I've I did I did end up doing it, albeit with uh, it's not it's not. I guess it's cheese to some extent. You still need to be able to overcome the obstacle, but... I didn't do it without summons, whereas in my brother did. But I don't know, I didn't, I didn't feel any shame in doing it because that fight was just... So unbearably unfair at times. Not sure what you'd play Elden Ring. Right, likely a sword block build. You like to tell. 
I... What did I do? I did, uh... I did a big two-hander build. <laughs> also, Clive, hello, thank you so much for the raid. How's it going? Welcome, everyone. Apologies for the, uh, the gameplay that I might be putting you through, but... I'm on low health, and so I'm resorting to, uh... Standing still whilst my little ghost friend does the job. Yes, hello, Whisker, Lem Shimmer, Banana. We were just talking about the kind of games we're going to be playing. Um, Seth here is going to be checking out Zelda as uh, Breath of the Wild. Well, it's not even called Breath of the Wild now. It's Tears of the Kingdom. I got to get used to that. That comes out next year, so... Yeah, Skyward Sword 2. I feel like I should just risk it. <laughs> anyway, how was the stream, dude? What were you up to? Now I focus. Ah, oh, okay, I'm still alive. Taiji. I haven't heard of that game. What's that one? And Fall Guys. How are you enjoying the uh, new season? It's pretty fun. I've played it a bit myself and uh, have been enjoying it quite a bit. The one where you are... Uh, have the pixels and you draw, that one's great. <laughs> uh, it's so chaotic, I love it. Taiji's a neat puzzle game with chill vibes. Alright. Let me, uh, let me look this up. I'm always about those kind of games. Ooh, visuals look nice. Okay, I've got the tab open, so I'll definitely look at that afterwards. Yeah, I do like how much uh, they've added variation to the maps. There are a few, though, that have become very brutal. Like, I don't know, I find myself getting knocked out with the, the one with the three rhinos more, because... It used to have this upper area that had uh, those lily pad trampoline things, but now it's only one layer of it, so it's easier for them to knock you out. And I don't know, they seem to be more aggressive than they used to be. I might be imagining it, but I feel like they team up and target people. The rhinos are assholes. They are, yeah. Oh, I can't see. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'll we'll stick to this. I was probably going to play some of that later today as well. <laughs> Coincidentally. Just every now and then I get that Fall Guys itch. How long has this run been good? It, uh, <laughs> oh no. Ah. Oh. I, I mean, at this point, should I... If I keep going, I'm gonna be turtling this, and I'm just gonna be relying on my little friend to do all the damage, and it's just gonna take forever. But I'll probably achieve the goal. And if I give up and just start again and try to 
do this with damage and not turtling. There's no guarantee. I don't know. I feel like they need to rework this portal. The conditions of getting it are just a bit too strict. What objective am I working on? So... I don't know if you're familiar with Isaac, but, uh... You get this little sheet, and every character has it, so... Each stamp represents, I guess, a boss or an end goal. So I have every single one, except the one that turns the note blood red. So that boss in particular, the way it works is you reach the end of a particular path, and along the way, uh, you get three chances that a portal opens to this boss. It's not guaranteed, and for whatever reason with this character, I don't know why, but I've been trying for the past two days and it just refuses to give me this portal. Even though ordinarily it's supposed to be like a 50-50 chance. It's like flipping a coin and, you know, eight times it's landing on tails and you keep saying heads. That's what that's what's happening to me right now. And so currently, if you see that little key following me, that gives me a bonus chance to be able to get it. So, like, statistically, I should have it this time. The only issue is, I don't have health. One hit and I'm dead now. But I do have this item where if I stand still, I don't take damage. And this little ghost friend of mine here, the not, not this one with the smiley, that one attacks enemies automatically. So the idea is I can stand still and then eventually he will, he will kill everything. If I was off stream, this wouldn't be a problem, you know? I would, I'd put the controller down, go make a cup of tea, and it'd be fine. But because I'm live, it doesn't make good a good viewing experience, does it? <laughs> so, I apologize in advance, particularly those that came in with Clive's raid. If this is the reality of what you're watching, but... Desperate times. I did this once before, and I'm not joking, because the boss was that hard. And it was with a character where you take two hits and that's it, you're done. I sat there for a whole hour, and the way I kept pe people entertained was... I was dra I just went through my image folder and kind of started dragging out PNGs and just forming a scene around, uh... Around the boss fight. And it led probably to one of the best character creations I've done ever. I'll introduce you to him when I go into this boss fight here, where I have to stand still. Okay, let me put the controller down somewhere safe. That is safe. Alright, let me introduce you to him. Since we got nothing else to do. I have to piece it together, so let's see. So... You know, it started off with this. And the joke was, you know, a little helicopter flying around the screen. So I was like, yeah, helicopter. But then I took it one step further and I was like, okay, well, what if he was a Nicolas Cage helicopter, right? So then it was Nicolas Cage as a helicopter flying around the screen, helping me out in the boss fight. But then... Again, I thought to myself, like, what's better than Nicolas Cage as a helicopter flying around helping with a boss fight? I kept going through my images, scrolling, 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 and I'm buying time whilst I scroll again. Nicolas Cage as Batman as a helicopter. But then, you know, I thought, well, Batman typically doesn't really do fist fights, like, he's kind of armed to some extent. So then, again, it morphed one more time. And I'm trying to find the image, right. So then it became this. And then, you know, when you put it all together, and you hold shift and do this in OBS, then you have, like, this entertaining visual where I just can control it. 
Anyway. How's the fight going? <laughs> it's it's about halfway. What's better than Nicolas Cage nothing? It's still Nicolas Cage, it's just one-upping Nicolas Cage. I did that fairly quickly, but during that other time where it was it was a boss fight for practically 40 minutes. I, I took it a bit slower than that. <laughs> I mean, okay. That's probably one of the cheesiest things I've ever done to win. Does anyone else have any cheesy stories where as boring as it might be, you got the win. And that's all that matters, right? It's the little tick. Okay. <laughs> In all honesty, if I do get health, I, I won't stand still. It's just, I don't want to be on one hit and die. You got a board game story. Um, all is. Let's hear it, Lem. What is this item? Okay, it's cool. I mean, it's, it's damaged, which is nice, but... Okay, this little dude can potentially give me health. Okay, so now instead of one hit, it's two hits until I'm dead. <laughs> I'm going to have to do it again. Uh, there's no... Yeah, there's no planetarium or anything. Okay. Alright. Ooh, this might be bad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Okay, no, this will resolve itself. A Swedish game where one guy plays as a cop and the others play as thieves. The cop don't know where the thieves are, but know some locations they might want to visit, and the cop just has to try and catch them by surprise. Okay, right. A board game. I gotcha. Alright, so what was the thing you did to prolong everyone's uh, misery in the game? Hopefully won't be as bad because the boss does cause collateral damage, so I was kind of worried that, uh, it wouldn't. There we go. Oh, my. <laughs> oh dear. You play it as the cop once and realize that you could go by four locations in one turn, wherein the thieves had to stop by at least one of these four locations to be able to win. So you just found a method where, in a way, you could camp them and check them every turn. So if one of the thieves were in one of the locations, you'd catch them immediately, and they had to stop by at least one of the locations. Right. One of the four locations, so they were screwed. Yeah. <laughs> The classic loophole. I think a close second this year would probably be in Elden Ring, there's there's this massive dragon that... The way that fight is supposed to go down... Is... The dragon is... You know, it doesn't... It doesn't attack you. It, it's babies do. And so the idea is the babies will... Uh, will be the ones you're supposed to attack. And then the dragon will pass away once you destroy the babies. Very morbid. 
But somehow I glitched it so the baby dragons didn't pay attention to me. So I could just walk up to the mother dragon and just keep attacking it. If you thought this was slow, I'd say I'd, uh, that was like 15 minutes. Just repeatedly hitting this dragon. Because the alternative is fighting six baby dragons, which if you've ever played a Souls game, not a good idea. So yeah, I just sat there for 15 minutes hitting this thing that was on its way out. And I think the amount of experience I got probably wasn't worth the ordeal, but... I ticked it. <laughs> I ticked that boss off the list. Okay, I think I'd need to move because... I don't think the ghost is close enough. I think I got shifted by this thing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Usually, when I play Isaac, it's pretty exciting. But you've come at a moment where I want to achieve something and I'm going to be stubborn. Okay, let's just... I'm going to risk it. Reach it. <laughs> uh oh, stand still. Am I just? Am I? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. It's getting late, you better call it a night. All good, Clive. Thank you so much for the raid again, dude. Have a good rest of your night. Alright, I'm just gonna have to... When it goes down next time, I'm moving. Just wait for the opening now. Okay, I got health. Now, if the game is kind, it will grant me more health, please. Please. Okay, alright. I'm in a slightly better position now. Alright, so that's the first chance for the portal to open. It didn't open. Three remaining chances. I'm going to cry if I get to the end of this and it still doesn't open. Uh, I got plenty of keys. I'll try. Hey, there we go. More damage. Uh, what does the map say? Down and to the left. Okay. <laughs> oh no, I'm back in the same spot again. <laughs> I feel like I should give up. <laughs> There's no way that what I'm doing is worth it.
It's okay, these skeletons seek me out. They won't last long. This is one of my favorite games of all time, but it can really... <laughs> can really test your patience sometimes. Come on. There you go. Okay. Oh no. I can't stand still with this one. This one will take too long. I have to go on the attack. Ugh. will get easier when most of them are down. Oh no, the little ghost friend might make this worse. <laughs> I'm trying to get them in order so they don't split off too early. But he's kind of getting in there. Okay. Okay. Ah! I didn't see that one. I'm down to my last hit again. Ugh, what a horrible room. Okay, uh... That didn't... That's... Oh! No, this is good. That's technically another damage source when I stand still. Oh no! Uh, okay, uh, let me see what this is. I have a problem. I kind of have to run in to this boss and get within range at the start. And I'm not sure I can do that without taking a hit. Oh, is, is there nothing else I can do here? There's no room that's going to offer me an advantage. Oh, okay. 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 Got within range. I'm pretty sure the fly is going to hit him too. I can't tell. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'll make up for it on the next run. I promise I won't do something this passive. Don't worry. I, I worry sometimes. It's like the video game equivalent of watching paint dry. Although I guess, I don't know. 
I'm not gonna say there's boring stuff, but there's stuff that's like conceptually like cleaning, and people enjoy that, so. You haven't played this game at all. Played it a couple times on the Switch. Oh, no, yeah, this game is great. If people haven't tried it, highly recommend. There's a lot of uh, replay value in it. This isn't the best representation of what this game is about, but... Every time you do a run, it's, it's different. And uh, I guess the cool thing is... Sometimes you get these item combinations that let you do... Pretty cool stuff. Like in this case, ordinarily this run would have been over a very long time ago. But because I have these two items, it gives me this setup where I, I can stand still and things still die. It's not in the spirit of the game, but I can win. But you can get some very visually interesting things going and yeah, that's why this game is pretty good. And, uh, it's been updated recently. It has a new DLC, so... Have they updated his AI so he doesn't get on... He used to teleport directly on top. And now he seems to be... Hanging back and shooting, which could be a problem. I've sunk a ridiculous amount of time into this game. Okay, there we go. There we go. Ghost friend, go! Go, 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 go! Oh no, I might have to move... No, good. Alright, cool. As long as the ghost latches, I'm alright. And then, hopefully, whatever items I get on the next floor, because I'll get... eight of them. That'll maybe put me in a position where I don't need to do this anymore, and then we can just play the game. Like, imagine that. Imagine you play a game and press buttons on a controller. He's got two more teleports in him and then he doesn't do it anymore and that should be his death. Come on. Get in range. Let the ghost give you a hug. That's all he wants to do. Don't you like hugs? Come on, just a little bit, just a little bit more. Come on, just, just a little bit more. Come get the hug. There it is. <laughs> uh... I'm afraid to move the controller. Come get the hug. Come on. Just... It's right here. 
It's a wonderful feeling being hugged. That's all the ghost wants. It just wants to be friends. That's all. <laughs> I'm kind of curious when they made this change because I swear... The last time I played this, this boss, what it what it does is, when that beam of light attack happens, it usually does this move where it tries to teleport directly on top of you. So I was kind of counting on that, but I mean, I guess it's still getting within range. It's just, it's definitely smarter about it now. All right, one more teleport and that should be it. I think the best thing about this game is if you enter that code, you too can experience what I experience right now. You too can sit here and not play the game. Yeah, the only reason I'm doing this is because I dislike this character quite a bit. <laughs> For the longest time, this character was kind of a joke, because it was a weaker version of another character and didn't really have a playstyle. They have changed them in, in this patch, but it's... I don't know, I still don't like it, so... I've been trying to finish it off, but this last thing has just really not worked out for me. Okay, it's about to die. Okay, so... Fingers crossed. Wait, what is that? Little portal that hungers. I forgot what that thing does. Okay. Oh, it's not looking good. <laughs> the items I've gotten. Huh. No, but... Yeah, this doesn't work the way I think it does. Okay, so I have a choice here. I can either go through this door and just hope that it lets me continue, which I'm leaning towards, or I go through this whole thing, which, because I didn't get any health here, I'm... I just have to... No, I'm just doing this. Let's just... Set and forget. If I lose, I lose, but... Okay, there we go. So if I sit here... Why is the ghost... It doesn't matter. The fly does more damage than the ghost. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, that's probably not good. But I, I guess I can shift if he moves me around. The sad part is, is that even after all this, this is this is the last chance. 
There's a 50-50 chance this portal opens. If it doesn't, then this last hour and a bit has been all for nothing. And you know what? Knowing my luck, that's probably going to happen. I wish there was a health bar so I could know. Alright, what other entertaining images I have on my desktop? For whatever- why do I have this? I have a picture of a shrimp. Now it's a picture of a shrimp with a machine gun. Uh, I'm just thinking here. The problem I have right now is just I lack damage. If you see the numbers down the left, ideally at this point, to do well you should have above 10. Or something interesting going on with your shots, which I don't. My entire gimmick revolves around standing still, <laughs> letting my ghost do the job. Okay. I can... Probably... Hold on. I need to adjust myself here. Okay, start shooting. Oh, no! <laughs> ah, it spawned on top of me. I hate it when that happens. Never mind. Dead! But I had to move anyway, because he shifted me away from it, so I wasn't going to be hitting it. Great, waste of an hour. Alright, let's try again. But now I play the game. Welcome to the stream. Hello. This is the first run I'm doing tonight, so we'll see how well it goes. Certainly haven't been sitting here for an hour. No, sir. Ah. <laughs> uh. That is just one of the many things that I feel like shouldn't be allowed. Just out of nowhere, boss directly on top of you. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure this will give me enough money to purchase that. Alright, leave it be. Mmm, okay. Mmm, I don't think I can get that. Alright, it's to make up for the previous run. I'm gonna do my best to just go through this as quick as I can. Oh wait, no, that's a that's a freebie. Okay. Get him! Uh, 
Uh, okay. No, I can use this right here. What else is there? Justice. Uh, this is what I don't like about getting this item at this point. Because you're kind of forced to use all the cards and sometimes don't. Okay, but now that I have that, it's probably a good idea to do this now. Okay. May as well get the health. What else was there? There was a battery that I can refill with. I suppose I could do this and then just use this. The tower. <laughs> ah, yeah, okay. I could be an idiot. I was banking on that hitting the machine, but it hit me instead. Uh huh, okay. I mean, I guess it goes with the theme of what I have going on. Blood everywhere. No! <laughs> Ugh. It's going to be bittersweet if I achieve the objective here. It'll be nice to have it done, but then it will just really make what I was doing before just a massive waste of time. I forget what this one does. I guess it's probably going to be more use. Hang on, let me just look up. It doesn't do anything that I don't want it to. Uh, black feather, Isaac. What does it do? Oh. Yeah, okay. I mean... It increases my damage for every every dark item that I have. So I guess there's no harm in that because I could potentially run into them. As long as it doesn't adversely affect me, it's all good. They're not running into the blood. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, this is the problem. I have to be a good boy and not take the devil deals. Hmm. Alright. I'll use the card if it doesn't open up. have a key. Unfortunately, this works in the inverse. When I get to control the body, but not the head. So I can't use it to get these items. This room, this room sucks. <sighs> oh, and I have to go. <laughs> I have to go back. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh man, that sucks. <laughs> go, 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 go. Um, I'm probably gonna have to skip the treasure room. That's too risky, and I don't have a key, so. Ah, oh, dear. It's okay, I'm not dying. Hey game, do you mind giving me a key? Key? Come on. Uh, yeah, I'll take this. This increases money. Passively. <laughs> I, I bet if I play some other character, it's not going to be like this. It's just for whatever reason, I just have the worst luck with this character. Nope. Okay, well, I'm skipping the treasure room, I guess. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I should be doing that. Ah. Oh, but I guess if I want to take on the angel. Okay. Um, I have no way of recharging it, so let's just try. The Bible. Yeah, I mean, I'm probably not going to take it with me. Okay, it's alright. It's the easy one. I got this.
Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna leave it behind. The scissors, at the very least, give me some form of extra damage. Ah, oh, no, I fell for that. I still need a key. <laughs> Please, game. Don't do this. Uh, probably a good idea to just do this. I might accidentally hit some of them. Hmm, still not key. Oh. Okay, everything is fine. Yeah, that's okay. It's only one, but I'll take it. Uh, oh no, this room. Yeah, I'm using this. Uh, okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. This is likely to lead to the boss. This is probably going to lead to the item. I just have to break that room up so I don't take unnecessary damage. Okay. <laughs> Retro keys. There it is. No. Hmm, I'm thinking. This one's kind of a mixed bag. Okay, so we get to go in here for free. Nice. Okay, good. No! Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, well, no, oh, I have to fight this thing and hope that it doesn't take too much health from me. I hate fighting this thing because the orbs are just so erratic. Come 
on. Die, 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 die. Okay. And this is just a worm. We'll be okay. <sighs> Unfortunately, it's the version of the worm that has this multi-shot thing. Ah, no. Overall, it was still worth it, because this can give me a transformation if I get one more needle. Hmm. <laughs> I appear to be on low health again. I found pills. Okay. Please let there be health in the shop. No! <laughs> ah! Okay. <laughs> if I survive this, I'm gonna have lots of spending money. No. <laughs> no. Uh. Okay. Uh. Stab in the dark. It worked, but that doesn't help me. Oh, okay. Health. Uh, what does that locket do? One sec. Consulting the wiki. I've seen it before, but I forget. Um... Where is it? S Soul hearts give you permanent stat up when picked up. Th and it gives me one soul heart. So it's the same as this will give me damage, but then this will be... That's an interesting choice. I can choose to get stats now in one health, or... Just get the one health, but then it's like smaller stats. Which, I think in the long run, this is better. Um, I'm not going to be greedy and fight this thing. I don't have the health or the damage, and I just worry that I'm not on my A game right now. Oh no. Okay. Um, you know what? <laughs> I, c I can't deal with this right now. This curse has a very simple counter. Just turn your gamma up to like 120. And then it's not as bad.
But when you have a monitor that has, uh, pretty dark colors, that curse sucks, because you can't see the edge of the, of the screen easily. Which I guess is the point of the curse, but... I don't know. I always felt like this one should be reworked slash removed. Oh, okay. Spend one bomb to get two, I'll take them out. Let me reposition. Unfortunately, I took a hit from the fly, but whatever. That could have been worse. Uh, okay, I guess I'll buy it. Okay, good. It's no longer just health now, now it's a stat up as well, so... That's it, step into the blood. Oh, cool. Next floor I got one hot. Oh, what? <laughs> it crossed the line! Ah, oh, no. I thought they were meant to stick to their side. What is this? Okay, it's normal now. Oh, that was dumb. Alright, anyway. Yep, this this run is kind of a wash now. <laughs> Nothing really exciting going on with the items. Hello, Lolo Guts, how's it going? Thank you so much for the bits, dude. How's things? Hope all is well. Yeah, hopefully catching streams will be a bit easier now that tonight the Australian time zone moves to the summer time zone, which is easier in terms of timing. Still not ideal, but... Okay, hold on. There we go. It does mean that um, it gets later sooner for me, which is better. Somehow. I don't know. I just know that the winter time zone is not ideal. I think the way it works is it gets later sooner so I can start streaming earlier. Which means there's a higher chance for people to catch me. In the evening. Something like that. Yeah, this might be rip. Ooh, 
this is a game changer. The world. Okay, there's nothing worth hunting down here. But potentially I could get items that alter the course of what's happening. That's paralysis. Okay, unfortunately I got an annoying boss! Hold up. <laughs> I'll read that in a sec, Lolo. Just give me a sec. I hate- I hate these new bosses. I get it. Ah! Just keep using bombs. Um, you've been doing well. And for you, the streams start at around 3 to 5 a.m. Yeah, that makes sense. That's the unfortunate thing about the Australian time zone. It's just- well- at least on the East Coast. It's kind of like, uh... If you want to catch the Americans, you have to wake up really, really early. And if you want to catch the Europeans, you have to stay up super late. <laughs> but, I, I try to make an effort where possible. Yeah, glad to hear you've been doing well, dude. Always appreciate the poppin'. Okay, this is big. Potentially blocking damage. Got ya. I have to... This one's dangerous. I have to just try and finish it quickly. That laser shot it does. <laughs> okay. But this has already made a huge difference. See what it is. Okay. Oh, you know what? I just. I, ooh, I'm not sure how chaos interacts with the planetariums. I really hope it doesn't alter them because that would suck. <laughs> Ow. Oh, no. Oh, okay, we're about to find out. Alright. Oh, no, it affects them. Damn it. My planetarium item's gone. It would've... Okay, well, I'll keep that in mind for future. The only way this is worthwhile is if I somehow purchase an overpowered item at the shop. And then it's fine, it's balanced out. But if I don't, then... I think for once this item may have not done a good job. Okay, I mean, damage up, that's something.
Don't have the ugh, highest level of confidence in this run. Again, I'm stuck with base damage and not really much going on. At least the blood trail here should do quite a bit of damage if she steps on it. <laughs> I thought it would die before it reached me. Polaroid as usual. Sad bombs. I suppose I can fight it now. Ooh, there's an item. Yeah, I had some... <laughs> yeah, I haven't played much of Isaac. How far in the run am I? Uh, I mean, this is... At the start, this is t the end. And then later on, as you play, this is, I guess, the halfway mark. But there's branching paths in this now, so... Yeah. It's a harder question to answer than before. But, I mean, traditionally, this is the halfway point, more or less. I'm trying to complete my least favorite character, and I've been trying for the past three days, but I just can't. It's either I have a run where the items don't work out, or I have a run where I have the power to beat it, but then the portal to the area that I need to go to just doesn't appear. <laughs> it's, it's been frustrating. So I guess that means, based on what happened, planetarium items can be taken out of the planetarium with chaos. Yeah, that does nothing. I'm good. I just want- I guess this is more visually interesting than before, but I want something really visually interesting. Yeah, I mean, if you haven't played much of Isaac, I- I mean, this game is great. It's definitely up there in terms of my favorites. Because if you're not into the whole roguelike thing and losing all your items when you die, I get that. But I mean, the replay value this game has is huge. Ah, uh, no thank you. <laughs> not worth the risk. Ever since I got the ladder, it's definitely improved the damage that I'm doing. 
So, I feel like less at risk than before. <laughs> Ooh, almost walked into that. Uh, I mean, I guess it would be going down this way, hopefully. The only rogue like you like have played much of is Hades. Oh, Hades is great. Um, I love Hades. That's a really good story and quality of it is really good. I'm kind of amazed at the voice work in it as well. It has an insane amount of voice work in it. And I went the wrong way. Alright, but I got lucky and the scrolls gave me the Book of Revelation, so I got health. Although I guess that's unlucky. If, if I get the boss, I think I will. Yeah, I mean, my favorite roguelikes are Splunky 2, Binding of Isaac, Risk of Rain 2, Hades, and then some of the other ones which I haven't played as much but were really good. Uh, Gungeon was alright, but I didn't really get into it. And uh, Dead Cells, but Dead Cells got really hard. So, but I had a lot of fun with it. This is the one thing I dislike about having any sort of blood trail is it's very hard to distinguish an enemies from your own. I feel like there should be more of a color difference, I don't know. But then it wouldn't be blood. I get it, I get it, but... In the interest of <laughs> not screwing yourself over... It would be nice. Okay. Oh, it didn't change it. Oh, no. That's bad. Okay. Ah, yeah, Doc. Yeah. Avoid the shot. Yes. Uh, this, while it's not the greatest item, I think with what I have, what's going to happen is there's going to be a, oh no, it was a, ooh, it was an extra big floor. Yeah, I saw it happen. Um, tear explosion when it collides with enemies, which is decent. If we ignore the double-sided nature of it. Okay, plant the bomb. Plant the bomb again. <laughs> I didn't get a reward for it. Uh chat, it's not looking good. Again. <laughs> okay. Ah, alright. Dude. Okay. I just want this character done. I don't want to. I don't want to keep playing this character. Uh, 
Ugh. I need someone to manifest me an overpowered item, please. Because clearly I can't do it. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you, fly. This is not bad. It's like a, uh, it's a lesser Necronomicon. I suppose the added bonuses, if I do get kills with it, they do become spudars. Ah. What would be nice here would be a battery of sorts, and then I could I could use this every room, potentially. Come to me, friendly spiders. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, so, here's the thing. This helps me generate health. I could go a devil path, but then there's no guarantee that I can get to continue at the end. But... On the off chance that I do, it, it means I've done well. I guess that's a trade-off. Also, that trinket would go sick with this. I need to try and get that trinket. I don't think I will, though. I guess the way I'm gonna play this is, if the devil deal is good, I'll stick to this build, otherwise I'll go back to the box of spiders. That's pretty much it, because if I'm getting damage from the Devil Deal, then don't need the Box of Spiders. But if I'm not, go back to the Box of Spiders. Because the other way I can play this is go a high damage build, potentially, with Devil Deals. And then go through, uh, Hush. This is leaning more and more towards Devil Deal. Ooh, okay. Are we doing this? I think we're doing this. I just have to hope that this works out. I'm trying for a bomb and a key. Don't be a dick. Come on, I'm not that unlucky. <laughs> what is this? Watch me get this. I hate this game. I, I, I absolutely hate it.
cool. Cool. I mean, I, I got an item, but... Alright, range and luck up. Let's do it. Oh, no. Oh. That was really unlucky, the kind of boss I got. It's chasing me in an awkward space. Or I can't run to the corners like I usually do. Yes! Okay. Wait. One bomb's not gonna suffice, is it? Because if- it's not gonna suffice, it's not gonna get it all. I have to put it here. Yeah- Oh, that's so annoying! Oh well, I tried. I really, really wanted that accessory. I need two bombs and that'll fill up my health bar. one which I guess I could do this with no <laughs> all right it's okay it converted to health one of the charges as well, so I can get the heart. Okay, there's the two bombs. Let's go get that health. I'll take that, I don't mind the lockdown for the extra health. We picked up a guppy piece, so I should be actively looking for this. Plus, you know, that was just around the corner, so... Nah, I'm good. Whoa, 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 what was that? <laughs> that movement there. This is a good trinket because it's an extra life, effectively. And I'm already playing as the blue baby, so... That's nothing but a positive.
may sakes free devil deals um well that's what i'm thinking of anyway seven i'm pretty sure i can charge it again before the boss fight Okay. Bad luck. There's a multitude of other uses. Like forcing open challenge doors. Guess. Just have to be careful. Uh, I can't get that. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. There, there might be a way I can get it. If I don't get a devil room, I can use me six to fetch it for me. That's kind of tempting, but no. Stick to this. Okay, good at spawning stuff. I say that because when I kill stuff, it's going to up my damage. No devil room, so we're going back for that GB glitch. Shadows, nah, I mean, I'll touch both of these so I just have them, but I think this is probably the better option sticking to this. Whoa. Rolled it. I suppose, yeah. If an enemy is too much of a pain, I can change it, so that's always nice.
Oh, damn it, I missed. I was trying to hit the main one. Okay, I'm getting me six to open this door. Worth it. This is also a very good version of the boss to fight right now because he's just gonna amp my damage. Making it easier to fight whatever's next. Good. I hope I get the devil deal and that it's the game changer and then I can rush through the rest of it. That's the hope there and then I can guarantee what I want to do. Dude, it's gonna make me go through the whole map, isn't it? into the rock. Whoops. Okay. I keep falling for that. Why do I do that? <laughs> know how these things move. Missed it. It's all right. It's dead now. I think that's arguably worse. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, that was worse. Nothing really here I want. That modem is going to make things... I know they reworked it, but I still don't like it. I just realized what's happening here. It's the poop on my head that's keeping those flies at bay. Uh, leaving it. That's a bit unfortunate.
damn it. The fear messed me up. Okay, it still hit it. That's fine. That's two pieces of guppy. Unfortunately, no devil deal, but... One more! Oh, that sucks. I got one less chance for a devil deal. It's guaranteed on this floor now, but it's... Uh, alright, try for it. If I'll get the transformation, then all will be good. I'm trying to do the hairball thing. Oh, I don't have a key. Ugh. Okay. Oh, you know what? I guess I could have opened it with me six. I'll probably do that. There's enough here, honestly, to be able to recharge it. Oh, okay. I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> yeah. Kill Bab. Oh, yep, got a heart, nice. That's all I was hoping for. It's alright, let it do that. It helps. Ha ha! Forced it to eat. TNT. Okay. Hmm. All right, leave the rest. I think my tactic might not work. <laughs> I was counting on getting damage that would let me breeze through this in under 30, but now... It doesn't seem like that's gonna be likely, which then I just have to hope that at the end I do get my reward. Oh, come on. No, I'm backing out of this. This is an annoying room.
<laughs> it's really gonna make it follow. Okay, uh... Yeah? Okay. Come on, guppy, guppy, guppy transformation. Nope. Okay, out we go. Attack each other. Wait, they didn't attack each other. That's what pheromones are supposed to do, unless they got feared as well, which might explain it. Trying to do the thing as well. Bad luck. Oh, what have I done? Uh. <laughs> uh, of course. Also, that's nice. I get two charges of it now. Alright, well, it looks like I was headed in the right direction the whole time. Ah, that's a bummer. Um, I mean, I guess buy it, because... Maybe I'm taking damage, it could give me a heart. It's always a possibility. <laughs> what a terrible map, look at this. See, I was kind of expecting this. This had better be the right way. Ah, oh, if this loops in... I swear, it's gonna loop, isn't it? It's gonna loop, isn't it? Nope, okay, it did, but... In a good way, I guess. What a weird map. Okay. Oh boy. Yep. I just have the worst luck for this character. This is one of the most obnoxious bosses to fight. And of course I get it when I'm on low health. And on the character where I lose health permanently. That gives me health up at least.
Wait, what hit me? No, what? I dodged. <laughs> oh, come on. Tef Unless she clip- I don't know. Oh, I'm so tired of playing this character. I just can't catch a break. Okay, it's me six again. Yeah, that was dumb. But I'll keep going. Maybe if the item's good, it won't matter. But ordinarily, after I hit that early, I would restart. Let's see what this says first. Holy shot, okay. Okay, that that's a that's a damage item. I can get on board with this. get me six for free. Okay. All right. Run starts now. Need luck stat, and then this should be good. Okay, good. Fire rate that goes towards the goal. I will be trying to make this in 30 minutes, because then that's guaranteed. Thank you. Oh, I forget what this- I don't even know what this is. I've never gotten it before. This... Abalaster's box. What is this? A sacred offering. Uh, I think I picked this up once and I couldn't figure out what to do with it. Um... Because it didn't charge from memory. Hold on, I'm looking it up. Where is it? Sorry, chat. Bear with. Why can't... Oh, there it is. 
A single use item that will spawn three hot hearts and two items from the angel room starts uncharged and gains charges only through picking up soul and black hearts. Um, it's too much of a long-term item. Too much of a long-term item. I didn't technically pay for it, so it's fine. But okay, I'll remember that. Ah, oh, that was bad. I kind of messed up the movement a bit. Oh, that went poorly. GB bug again. Oh, no. Ah, got ya. Okay, uh, just... Ooh, please let it be a freebie. Yes! Freebie! Okay. That's a big one. Especially since it does passive damage, this is great. Wait, what the? Wait, what? The Ace of Clubs works on enemies as well? I didn't know that. Kind of screwed me a little, but that's a neat thing to know. I've never really tried using it with enemies. Huh. I wonder if it works for the other ones. Oh, okay. <sighs> I keep getting annoying rooms. <laughs> okay, before I do another run, give me like a minute. I just need to stretch my legs, but I'm going to get a bottle of water out of the fridge, so I'll be literally a minute. But I, I just want this character to be done, honestly. It's one thing I need to do, and I've just had the worst luck trying to get it done. But yeah, give me a minute, chat. We'll be back.
Okay. <laughs> I'm back. I might pull a move that has no honor. <laughs> but like, this is annoying me and I want it done. So, okay, I don't have to do it, but pretty much the idea is reset. And when I get an item that's like a clear advantage, then start the run. I remember this is something I used to do for certain characters, just because there was practically no point. <laughs> Alright, that this is a contender. This is a planetarium right off the bat. <laughs> Depends which, which item it is, but yeah, we'll see. It's a little cheesy, but all this does is it lets me... Get to a state where I can definitely get through the run in under 30 minutes, and then I'm guaranteed to get that portal. Provided I beat the boss. So, it's not... <sighs> yeah. It just... I don't know. I'm tired of the portal not appearing when I'm doing this normal. <laughs> I've tried. It's Luna. That's... It's not really gonna help. Of all the ones to get, it was Luna. Okay, this is- this one's an interesting start. Especially because I can see what's in chests, so... okay. Whilst it's not a damage-based start, it's... something. Here lies the usefulness of this item. Huh. Let's just leave it be for the time being. Okay. Just, if, if there's no alternative to getting that chest, I will, I will get the bomb, but otherwise, yeah, there's no alternative, is there? Oh my god, hold on. Chat, I'm sorry to do this, but I think there's an Uber driver that's lost, tapping on my doorbell. I'll see if they go away, but typically they keep ringing the bell until you go get it, and then... They're like, oh, did you order something? And I say no, and then I have this conversation like at least once a month. Nah, they're not going away. So sorry, give me like 30 seconds till midnight.
What? Well, uh, you'd think I... <sighs> There's only a set number of drivers in the universe that get lost. And over a, over a set amount of time, like, you would think I'd run into all of them in the area. But uh, it just keeps happening, man. And it... <sighs> You've heard me complain about this. <laughs> it's... It's ridiculous, because... The comedy of it is... So, okay. Where I live, yes, most of the houses and apartments look the same. That's fair enough. But... So, it's gated, and... You know, they have to ring a doorbell, or a buzzer, right? And then I choose whether or not it opens the door. And directly above the buzzer, I mean, like, pretty much as close to as you can be on top of the buzzer, in pretty large letters, like probably the size of a standard soda can, right, in height, it has the, num the number to the property. So it's like, they don't look at it. <laughs> it's right in their face, and they never look. And then they always have the audacity to go, Oh, are you sure? I'm like, what do you mean, am I sure? I... <laughs> um, yeah. Positive I didn't order food, and I'm positive that... I'm not living at the address you're looking for. Like, it blows my mind. It's like, uh, this street we have here in Melbourne, where there's a bridge. And... I think the average is, like, every 40 days, a truck will hit the bridge without fail. It's somewhere between every 20 to 40 days, some truck will hit that bridge. And that's what it is for me and, and Uber drivers that get lost around here. I should start keeping tally and then just prepare a graph at the end of the year that shows how many times my stream has been interrupted by a, an Uber driver just thinking that they've got the right address. Oh, this is really useful. I can see if it's even necessary to explode things as well. This is definitely one of the best items I've added. Uh, I mean, it's not great. So I guess since I have one piece of guppy, I should be looking for the others, so let's just... Yay! Negative pills! Okay, but two syringes, so that's nice. One more and I get to transform. I can't be the only human to experience that. <laughs> Delivery drivers. Okay, I locked out. It procced. I'm not going to be checking it, because I don't have any health mechanic. Cool, I, I love that for me. Ah, <laughs> uh, not worth it. What's, I think Silver Dollar is shops later on from memory.
dude. Can you calm down with the bumps? Ugh. <laughs> uh. Okay, lucky. This is a nice room. Okay, let's see. I can see that it's not worth blowing it up. Excuse me, is that a candle? Oh, no, no, I know what this is referencing. This this is referencing Beauty and the Beast, right? At least I think it is. Ha! Okay, health time. Just snuck in there. Okay, that's unfortunate. I mean, at least I have a way to generate health. It's alright, that played out like it should have. Uh, okay, so. Does that matter? No, it doesn't matter with this. Okay, I'm gonna use a bomb now. So, right here. That is not useful. It's like, uh, I guess an end game last resort. I like the look of this one, though. Oh, no. The run has a lot of pickup items. Which just means I have less stats overall. What a quality stream this has been. <laughs> An hour of me trying to uh, make the most of a bad situation then ended up failing. And then having to do like two BRBs back to back. That Uber driver really couldn't have waited like another minute and then I could have combined the BRB into one. But no, the moment I sit down, knock knock. So 
don't think there's a lot more incentive to go look for the rest of the map. This is one of the better synergy items for this character. Unfortunately, it didn't result in another heart, but whatever. Let me go do one more room so then I have the charge right away. I just realized, like, all I have to do is that. Worth it because two stat ups. This is an interesting... It depends how much it gives me, but I think this is worth it. Okay, especially since I got the 9 ball out of it. Alright, cool. Yeah, that was worthwhile. Four shot, all right, here we go, finally. Something that offers me an advantage. Oh, this shot is so good. Spread the contagion.
Oops. Oh. Kind of lucky. Mm, nah, we're good. I just love how it just keeps exploding. It's alright, that doesn't matter too much. Oh no. Super speed! Uh, Bible? Yeah. I'm good. I'm just gonna stick with this. Although, um, although, uh, okay, hang on. But that's not gonna give me money now, shit. <laughs> it would let me one-shot the two fights, and then I could get into Hush with this. We'll see if I got the two pennies required. I doubt it's gonna give it now. Okay, now it will. Okay, change of plan. We will be a holy kid. I mean, I think that's... I've done what I could with it. I made my health go up, so that's all that's important. Oh, get wrecked! Haha! <laughs> get wrecked. Quality. What is- what is that? <laughs> what is that supposed to be? I can't tell what my buddy is supposed to be. It's like a log? Log a friend. Oh, that was bad. Don't, don't eat it. <laughs> Stop eating. I don't need money after this point, so... Uh... Wait, it... altered? It had the voucher, and then it changed. That's interesting. The moment I bought something, it became something else. 
so I guess if I'm gonna... It should always be bomb the shopkeeper. First? Interesting. Oh, I, I didn't make it in 20 minutes. Damn. Um, Polaroid. Sorry, I'll definitely make the half hour mark. Hopefully. Wow, well... Hopefully I can get the other one, but if, even if I don't, it's still okay. Spread the contagion! I got a key. That has a key in it. But I guess that's that's a last resort. Oh, no, it's not. that one there. Uh, I mean, I guess I can go in there for free with, with flight. I got another soul heart back there, so it's just bombs. It's okay. These are just I found pills. <laughs> uh, no, no, just leave it. Although I guess flight isn't critical. All right, I'll get it. Keep changing my mind quickly. Yeah, that'll help. Slowed me down. What am I doing? Fly, fly. 
I may have realized a little too late. Okay. This should be fine. Wait, what is... What the heck is that thing? Spider... Baby? <laughs> okay. How much time do I have? Four minutes. Should be plenty. Here's the problem, it's like, even if I do make it, the issue now is, from a damage perspective, I'm not there. And teleporting forward, uh, We'll see how it goes. I need more keys. Rainbow poop. Okay. <laughs> Chase. A third one. Two minutes. Had to check. Ton. Uh, okay. This shouldn't be a problem. Get the key. Definitely get the key. 40 seconds. Alright, I got it. 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 It's a one shot. It's Jar of Souls. Yeah, I mean, take the Bible with me. Okay. This is gonna be interesting. Uh, I guess Gertie. I don't really care about bombs, it's not gonna help. Stat up. Ooh. Ooh, this is a tough one. Uh, 
Okay, uh, this is a good one, because this is a do-over. So if I do mess it up that badly, I can turn back time. I think I'm gonna take this one. Also, Josuke! <laughs> I got Josuke on my side. Can't lose with Josuke. Alright. So this is nice, because... I can see how I do, and then if it's that bad, I can undo it. not performing as well as I thought it would. Oh, that was that was my bad. I should I got too comfortable. Should be okay. Oh, this is the part I hate. Um, the question is, do I, mm, do I think I can do better than that? Mm, nah. All right. I'm taking the gamble. I, I just want this done. I suppose I can undo delirium. So I can do the same thing for delirium. Oh, this sucks. I can't see how much health I have. What was it? It was like five? Five hits. So I just have to keep track now. Quite possibly one of the worst curses to have right now. Okay. I just gotta hope for help. Help, 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 help. <laughs> or get really lucky and the slow effect procs on him and then dodging becomes a bit trivial. Alright. 
Okay, that's at least nice to know that I can teleport out. These won't give me hearts, right? Yeah. The eye sees all. Lucky. Tarot Claw. Crap. All right, four hits. Alright, there he is. Okay, now I know where he is. Yeah, just pay attention to him. It'll tell me when there's a heart. Ah! Oh! Down to three hits. I really don't want to use this unless I have to. Yes. No. Okay, that's a teleport out. Uh, I'm undoing that right now. Holy crap, just doesn't want to die. Okay, back up to four hits. Five hits, six hits. We're up to six hits.
sure. Uh, I'm gonna reroll that. Oh, gives me enough time to dodge. How do I even get back to where I... Oh no, come on, no. I'm doing it. That shot me right away. Inspecting. Ah, uh, look, it's the same. Just let it slide. I can't keep using this because I want to save it for delirium. Gotta say though, what an irritating thing to happen. Okay, I mean, it's worth more than the pill bag. I think we're, I'm just gonna say six hits. On six hits, I'm gonna undo. That's. There's no way of knowing for sure unless I get something that gets rid of the curse. Could drop batteries or something. Oh, yo, this may have just won me the run. I'm pretty sure I can go in and out of the delirium fight and f force him to slow down, basically. I'm pretty sure this is one me the run. Almost positive. gonna try it. I mean, I don't think my build's gonna get much better. I 
Does it work on Delirium? I'll keep doing it. It doesn't hurt. Sorry if this is annoying to hear, but... Does it not work on Delirium? That might be a thing. Let me try off another room. Just so you're not going crazy. <laughs> Let me try off another room. If I can proc the slow effect. I don't think it re-rolls the room. It doesn't re-roll the room. Is the room set in stone? It might be. Let's just see. That's a bit of a bummer. Yeah, so it's... Okay, well. Let's... Let me just see what happens if I finish a room. Does it change anything in that regard? Nope. Alright, well... I'm gonna try six hits, teleport out. That'll be the rule. Telefrag, though. Oh yeah, I do contact damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's one hit. Count to six. Two. Three. Four. That's just, uh, that, yeah, that's not distracting at all. Five. Six. All right, I'm going to go for one more. I'm pretty sure I have seven hits. Oh 
Oh my god. Seven. Alright. No more risk. Okay. So seven hits. I'm gonna go charge it again. So that's nice to know. Seven hits. Kind of lame that it doesn't randomize the uh, the encounter. Like it's set in stone. That's I never imagined that would be the case. Anyway, got it back. Oh, I charmed it. Okay. Double spider, really? Oh, all right. Damn it, one. That stomp is too quick. Three. Oh, it's very stompy. Stomp is so irritating. Stop it. Four. Dude, the, the slamming. Oh, I nearly went out the door.
What the fuck? Five, uh, five, I think. Six. God damn it. Got me. Seven, no. Eight, there's eight. All right, there's eight hits. I hate to do it, but ugh, I can't risk it again. Eight. This fight is so annoying. I'm trying my best, but just the amount of damage I have is not enough. Like, you need double digits. You can't play the long game with that fight. Okay, 9, 10. So, 10 hits. Ready to go again. I can take 10 hits this time. I think even with strength, I'm on double digits, but it's probably not enough. Yeah, 12 damage, but it still feels like it's lacking. One already, fuck. You knock it off, please. Three. Oh my god, that speed. Six. Seven. Seven. 
Eight. Oh my god. Nine. Fuck. One more hit and then I have to teleport out. Ten. This is so frustrating. I don't think I can get another charge out of this. I think this is it. I can get one more charge, okay. Alright, this is it. Map complete. Nowhere to go. We got two more chances. One. Two. Three. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Nine. Take one more hit. 
Oh. It just reaches a certain point where it's so hard to hit it. Ten. Okay, last attempt. I'm not even gonna count now. There's no point. Let's just do it. This game can be such an unbelievable asshole. Oh, yeah. Yeah, great. Yep. You know what the worst part is? The gimp hasn't really come into effect. Like, I haven't had any soul hearts drop at all. Like, I know it's not guaranteed, but surely there should be some semblance of a chance for it to happen. so fucking annoying. Like, you can't get anyone near it. Yep. I never realized how obnoxious this fight is if you don't have tears that, like, take it out in under a minute. It's the teleporting around that just makes this fight annoying. Like, I think it does it way too much. Because it forces you to run, and then it's like the bullet hell is. <laughs> it's just in the way constantly. Like, you reach a point where there's so much going on that you can't get near it. Yeah, and I, she said it, and the foot was already down. Couldn't react to it. I 
trying to get rid of that skeleton. Oh. You've got to be kidding. Dude. Alright, I've had enough. I don't feel like trying that again right now. I just haven't had any luck with this character. It's... And this happens every time I play this game, it's just, for whatever reason, I just can't get runs where I get damage enough to beat that thing, and it's just a struggle. But every other character, no problem. Alright, um, I'm gonna take a short break, and then I'm gonna do a bit of janked up Mario Party for the rest of the evening. So, that's a Super Mario World ROM hack, which... It's difficult, but it also has some cool stage designs, so if you're in for that, uh, just go get a snack or something. But yeah, I'm gonna stretch my legs for a couple of minutes and just... <laughs> <sighs> Drown my sorrows in a bottle of water. <sighs> 